Give me a stiff one, barkeep. Oj, det är tungt. Ja, jag skulle ha tungt. Hej. Hallå. Det är Kim. Kim, Peter. Is it heavy? It is heavy. It's worth out like you in a while. You, you, want, you, you want to know what I like about you? You go all in on these shoots. Always. <laughs> We're gonna shoot um, together with a good old friend that has been in one of the first B-rolls actually that we shot with the A7S III. Mr. Dorian. Hello, hello. It's gonna be fun, right? Ooh, a lot of fun. This is gonna that be a lot. That is for sure, yes. We're gonna have a blast. Edwin, huh? how's it going? Eh? It's going good. What you doing? Uh, climbing as always. Oi! Making sure that we don't have any daylight coming in from here. You know what they say, the devil is in the details. So it's very important that whenever you're shooting anything like this, you want to be in control of the light as good as you can, because then you can make it look the way you want it to. And the daylight wouldn't really fit with this entire scene, because if we were to have daylight, then the mood kind of disappears directly. So what we've done now is that we have some Nanlite Pavo tubes, 30C here in the back. And I think we're gonna keep them orange because last time we had red and orange is gonna give us a little bit of a better look into the shot and make it feel a little bit of a different set even though we are at the same place. Men då tänker jag att första scenen, vi ska ha lite rök för det kommer vara snyggt. But we're gonna use some smoke to give it a little bit of a nice ambient feeling to the entire set and make it feel a little bit different than the Campari video that we did uh, six months ago. I think that having the smoke is also gonna help give us a little bit of an accent that it's whiskey that we're drinking instead of a like regular plain old Campari drink. The first shot is gonna be like me pushing in like this and then David is gonna reach for a whiskey bottle in the back and it's gonna be kind of a natural like movement, so we're gonna cut in the movement so that it feels seamless. No. One Jag går hit, och sen så glider jag tillbaka. Ja, det är nice. För då blir det att när du kommer hit så sätter du ner rörelsen lite. Och så glider jag in hit, och sen så in till dig. Poff. Ja, du vrider dig lite så. Poff. Yeah, yeah, keep getting them. Yeah, keep getting them. Exactly. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Hoppas! 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 Oh, we are them. Yes! That's better, bro. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. We're only using 24 millimeters so far. It's by far the best B-roll lens there is. I know that last time that we shot the Campari video, if you haven't seen it, you can check it out right here. We decided to go for a couple of different lenses, but we always went back to the 24 millimeter. And now we're using it exclusively. I'm thinking that we're probably going to use like the 85 for one of the shots so that it looks a little bit like different or gives us a little bit of depth, depth, depth. But since this is gonna be a part of a bigger story then uh, i think that 24 millimeter is gonna be just fine we're also using the a7s3 of course and uh nanolite pavot tubes i have them placed everywhere in my entire office as our main light we're having the uh, nanolite forza 500 watts so that we can increase it and make it extremely bright if we need that but we can also keep it very low so that we can have this nice moody lighting. And uh, to it, we have a softbox that is 120 centimeters. I think that this is a perfect kind of softbox when you're on location. I would probably say that 120 or 150 is the way to go. If you were to go a little bit lower, like a 90 centimeter softbox, then you don't get this like environmental feeling when you're lighting 
the scene and we kind of want to have a little bit of depth in the background for example or something similar. I think that this is going to sell the comp concept pretty good. I re just realized that I'm super red in my face. Yeah, you are. And now we're going to stretch it after glass. Yeah. Då tänker jag nästan from I'm speaking Swedish and English. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking maybe from this side where you because you're holding that yeah. in your right hand and then you're going to have that. I'm thinking that it's going to stand like this so that we're going to follow your arm down. You want to cap capture the skull as well, right? Yeah, the skull is going to be like the main focus. Maybe we're going to do like a nanolite power tube and get a little bit of a moody feeling here in the back lower that so that this is going to be like because then your movement is going to be like so and Peter McKinnon, if you're watching this, hope you enjoyed that we're using your glass in its right environment with proper real whiskey. Oof, you're too good. Oh, god damn, did that. There she is, bro. So we're gonna drop some uh, bitters inside just to, you know, that is a very classic cocktail ingredient really. Uh, combined with bourbon in a classic old fashion, which is the plan to serve to Oscar later on. The poison, you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked about, uh, yeah. You wanna try it? Spoil try spoilers. It. Try spoilers. Try it spoilers. Good. No, this is not my, my cup of tea. You know, it's a very important part of the cocktail. Makes it taste a lot better. Crystal clear. You know, this is chain saw cutted. Otherwise, you can, you know, see straight through it, which is really cool. Instagram friendliness at its best. <laughs> so, I think for this shot to make the ice look really cold, that we're gonna use another power tube and put it right here or from the side so that we have a little bit of a bluish tint so that it gives it this cool look and that was basically what we did when we shot uh, the Campari video when we used the ice so let's see how it looks I'm using the smaller nanolite power tube which is the uh, 15C I can highly recommend these ones as well because they're super powerful oh, a future job <laughs> human lamp stand human lamp stand <laughs> Oh, 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 It's a wrap. Really hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes video. And uh, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow David on his Instagram. I'm gonna drop it right here. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't seen it. Check it out. Man. Here's the final result one more time. Give me a stiff one, barkeep.